I asked first of all about uh, any updates uh, on injuries uh, going back. You said Mitch wouldn't play. Uh, is Jason okay? And are you starting Joseph tonight? Uh, Jason's okay, uh, and Joe is starting, yes. Um, Joseph obviously has said, uh, you know, two or three starts now. It's important to have that goal to come, especially back-to-back -back situations. Another big test for him tonight against, you know, a Winnipeg team that can really bring it. Yeah, no question. Uh, he is. He has played well for us. Teams played well in front of, uh, in front of him as as well. Uh, in particular, coming off of our last start in Long Island. Uh, but yeah, this team, you know, obviously they put up eight uh, here the other night, and they we know they can score. We saw lots of them last season. Uh, very dangerous team offensively when you make mistakes. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a good challenge for Joe. But more more importantly, it's a, it's a challenge for our team. We, we've got to do a job in front of them. A couple of their guys said uh, they've noticed a better structure to your team. A couple of Winnipeg guys, that is, better structure to you, not just skill. Obviously, you guys have put other elements into your game. Is that a compliment to hear? Things like that. I know that's something you've been working towards uh, bringing into this team this season. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, I think that's been the case for quite some time now. I mean, we we, we, we had a lot of structure last season as well. I mean. I don't think we're playing a whole lot differently this season than we were last. Uh, I just think that uh, we've been able to put it together for longer stretches, and that's why we've been able to compete here uh, so consistently throughout. Uh, with a day off now to maybe look at the power play, minus Mitch, uh, I think there might be a couple more wrinkles tonight, or uh, how do you see that unfolding perhaps? Uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, obviously we used Spaz there yesterday, and, and uh, he clearly did a very good job for us. Uh, there, it's a different type of penalty kill than we saw last night. So there's there are some 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 differences and adjustments that you know that we need to make and will make uh, for that. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously <clears throat> yesterday we didn't we didn't quite know uh, you know whether or not we were going to have Mitch. So you know we didn't we didn't really make adjustments till later on and and uh, didn't have time to work on anything. But but Spaz stepped right in and, and did a great job as uh, you know as we expected frankly I mean he, he has that ability I know he was up for that opportunity and and uh, the guys were excited to have him there too finally have you uh, you and Paul Maurice ever had any discussions about your shared experiences coaching the Marlies uh yeah a little bit uh just just uh, when I first got hired and stuff like that but uh you know anytime I've come across uh Paul Maurice he's he's uh He's terrific to talk to. Um, his experience is, is vast in the league, not just in you know, Marley's and in the Leafs organization, but uh, great experience. I enjoy talking to him. I enjoy listening to him speak. Um, and you know, he's got his team playing well this season. I think they, they've got some differences in their personnel and differences in how they're playing, I think, uh, a little bit uh, as well from last season. Uh, so you know, we're, we're prepared for a good game here tonight. Uh, Jets coming off us where they've lost 6 of 8. They look pretty fragile at times. What's the, is there any kind of psychology that you can take advantage of with a team that's going through what they just went through? Well, I, I mean, perhaps, but I think for us, we're more focused on the fact they're coming off of a game, you know, where they they scored big, won big. Um, you know, they have the guys that were looking to break out and, and broke out, so we're expecting the team to come in and be very confident here today on home ice, and I'm sure they're uh, looking at us coming in here after a very tough game last night in a back-to-back, -back and and uh, you know ready to ready to play and compete against us tonight. So you know we got to be at our absolute best here today, and, and they've got a lot of weapons on their team that we respect greatly, and, and we have to make sure we're, we're prepared for that. They play hard. They're a big, strong team. Great goaltending. You know, so you know we're really just focused on the fact that, that they've got a good team. Uh, how do you get your very best out of your players after a, you know after the toll you paid last night? Yeah, just I mean, we chatted this morning. It's just we, we've got to find it. You know, it's uh, that was a taxing game last night for us. You know, not take out the fact that it went to overtime and shootout and all that, but it's, it was an emotional game. You know, it was it was intense and competitive right from the start. The crowd was loud. Um, a stressful night in that sense. Lots of special teams. Uh, obviously, the emotional swings of being down three nothing to come back and tie it. So it took a lot out of us yesterday, but. Um, you know, it was we got an extra hour, given that the game was was a little bit earlier, and, and that benefits us here today, I believe, even though it's a small thing. You know, and uh, you know, our last back-to-back -back we went to Long Island. I thought our guys met that challenge head-on. This is a different uh, challenge here tonight with this team, but I expect our team uh, to find their way.
Um, Blake Wheeler still on the scene, so they're going to be hosting a little bit of a, a little pomp and circumstance. Is there, I know you guys are creatures of habit. Does that change anything up at all, or would we be making too big of a deal out of that? Yeah, I, I think I think making too big of a deal of it. I don't. It's not not anything that that uh, bothers us. It's a great accomplishment uh, for any player to play that many games, and it's well earned recognition from from his organization. And, you know, our guys will be ready when the puck drops.